In the previous video, we successfully deployed the SMS or System Management Server host virtual machine using Vagrant. Before we can continue with the installation of the OpenHPC components, we need to issue several commands into the shell of the VM using the OpenHPC recipe guide. We have a set of predefined variables that we'll use in our environment, and those first need to be sourced into the current shell. SetNV defines the parameters that we're going to be using in our virtual lab for the virtual cluster following the OpenHPC convention. The .c extension allows for some syntax highlighting, but it is just a plain text file. Starting at the top, our machine's name will be SMS host, its IP will be 10.10.10.10. The virtual machine network will be HPC net for the cluster, and that will be running on ETH1. You can read through the entire document to see all the parameters, even to find the compute nodes. These have no bearing on the system or the configuration in isolation. This is simply a text file that defines the environmental variables. Instead of us having to type 10.10.10.10 every time we're referring to the SMS server's IP, we can refer to the short name SMS underscore IP. This is a convention followed in the OpenHPC guide. Recall that the location of the vagrant file is the shared directory slash vagrant on the VM. We will now SSH to the VM using the command vagrant SSH. The default username and password for the VM is vagrant password vagrant. Vagrant SSH replicates SSH vagrant at 127.0.0.1 minus port 2229. Let's see where we are. We're in slash home slash vagrant. This should be empty, and it is. Recall that the shared directory is slash vagrant. We should expect to see all these files visible here because the vagrant file is there. With the obvious exception of the dot vagrant file which is hidden. There it is. Those are all the files. Right. So vagrant's shared folder is working. At this point we have the basic environment set up. We can now dive into the preparation of the VM.